So actually, my work wasn't the first one to show the superior calculating capacity of quantum computers. Dan Simon had an algorithm for a problem that he had invented that shows that quantum computers were faster. But this was a problem that nobody really cared about. And what I did was I looked at Dan Simon's algorithm and I figured out how to take some of the techniques from it and add some more techniques and show how to factor large numbers into primes on a quantum computer. And this was a very um, surprising discovery because the most common public key crypto system, which protects all the information on the internet, is based on the difficulty of factoring large numbers. So when I first announced the factoring algorithm, everyone thought it was a great algorithm and showed something very interesting about quantum mechanics, but they thought it would never be practical because you couldn't correct errors on a quantum computers because um, the principles of quantum mechanics say that as soon as you try to measure a quantum system, you disturb it. So if you try to measure the error so as to correct it, you disturb it and then your quantum computation is interrupted. What I showed is you can isolate the error and the computation so you can measure the error without affecting the computation and then you can fix the error and still preserve the computation. Um, there are lots of different potential applications. I think the most promising one right now is that quantum computers can tell us something about quantum mechanics. So right now, um, pharmaceutical companies spend enormous amounts of quantum, of computer time trying to simulate quantum mechanics, and they're not very good at it. And this is because they're trying to simulate quantum mechanics on classical computers, which is, you know, very time consuming. So if you had quantum computers, they could simulate it much faster, and then maybe they could discover drugs better or discover various um, molecular processes that um, are going on in chemical reactions and manipulate them much better. So that could really give us a lot of benefit for mankind.